Hey guys, I'm at the Indiana Science Olympiad Storm the Castle event. Now, with this we have trebuchets, and what a trebuchet is, it's similar to a catapult. Now, trebuchets were used in medieval times uh, during warfare to launch large stones and other kinds of missiles to hit castles. Now, we're not hitting real castles here, but we're hitting a small uh, model castle. I'm here with Colleen and Blaine. And now, guys, can you tell me a little bit about what this event is? You build a trebuchet, which is which is basically you pull a string and it'll let the ball fly. It cannot have any sort of um, any extra momentum. And you take graphs, you measure it from projectiles and counterweights, and then you fire it at a castle, see if you can try to hit it. What they're doing is they're using this counterweight on the back of the trebuchet, and when you launch it, it acts like a whip. And then the projectile, which they have a small ball projectile, will launch, and their goal is to see how far they can get it. And so they'll slowly move the castle back and back and back. How much pre-planning went into this? Um, probably about three months, maybe. Wow, that's a lot of time. Yeah. And so what all did you guys do in that time? Well, uh, at the beginning we built a, well, we planned out a sketch, the design, and then we spent about a month um, building it. And then all that other time launching it and making the graphs. Cool. What are the judges looking for in this? Oh, they're looking for just like a perfect 65 centimeters because that's our weight, our um, height limit. If you go over, you could get disqualified, but we go under about 63 and a half. Okay. And so um, they're looking for it to be in those measurements, um, it to be able to um, launch it at least close to the castle, and they're looking for good graphs as well.